Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing very good. I am just going to uh, kind of go backwards on this. I'm gonna show you how to put together a clock. If you make your own clock from uh, a resin piece or let's say you decide you wanna use an album. You know, this is a small 45 album I did. Um, so that's pretty much all this is. It's just showing how to put the movement on, the mechanisms. And uh, how I will drill the hole and all that. So, first of all, I you can use just about anything. You know, some studs or gemstones, brocks. I made a clock out of seashells once. It was an ocean one. I used seashells as the numbers. Okay. Uh, you know, I made this one with cards, so the ideas are endless. I even made a mouse clock one time. It was a, a wood mouse. I actually have a video on it somewhere with its cute little tail. And then I made some cheese from um, polymers clay, and that was my numbers for that. So these this one here i decided i'm just going to use these these like little numbers here okay kind of like a foamy but i i do know that over time they'll probably get dirty okay so i'm going to paint them with a varnish to so that they're able to be cleaned okay and then I will glue them on also, not just rely on the stickiness, you know, the back of it. I'll use some E6000. But I thought these would go well with this, okay? And that's pretty much that part. So you can just about find lots of these um, mechanisms in a lot of places. You can get them off of Amazon. You can pay $10 for them, you know, or you can go to Michael's. You can find them for $10 for one, but I do it a different route. I'll go to Goodwill or thrift stores, okay, Salvation Army or wherever, and find old clocks. And they used to have half price day, but since the coronavirus, they haven't been having it, but um, I'll just pick out a clock for a buck and take it apart and I have the parts. And I call these the stock, okay? I think that's what they're called. But how long they are depends upon, of course, the thickness of whatever you're using. So you'll have to always make sure you have the proper length of stock, okay? So I have many different sizes to go from here. And for this one here, I picked out this. This is probably about, oh, a quarter inch stock, maybe a, maybe a little bigger, third. Anyway, I'm liking these because they're white. Okay, so I thought maybe that'll look good with it. The only thing is this one here, this, the second hand was, this, yeah, second. Uh, is actually red so I'll paint that white okay and then some of the clocks you will find at Goodwill or places like that won't come with that little backing part you know if oh here they are if it don't come with these you know so this one will I'll use this so that's great so what I'll do is, like I said, you can use just about anything for your numbers, whatever you can think of. But my only concern with these was whether over time they get dirty. Not that they would peel off, because I'll take care of that, but the dirtiness. So that's why I'm going to put a, a coat of something thick on those. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll take it, flip it over onto a piece of paper, okay? 
and it just barely makes it on this piece of paper so that's awesome and take my pan okay get right next to it it don't matter if you get a little ink on your thing because you could use alcohol to remove that okay So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out this real quick, okay? Okay. So this is like so easy this way. When they're round, it's like, yeah, baby. I love it. And make sure that it's completely equally folded in half on all sides. You can turn it over and look at it, you know. Lay it down, make sure it is. And that looks good to me. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this and done the same thing. And you just need the right drill bit for the size of your stop. Sometimes I always have to go around it just a little bit, a few times, to make it uh, a little bigger, you know. Take your stock with you and keep checking it while you're drilling. Am I in camera view? There's my coffee pot. Okay. There we go. It's in. I'm going to take this, lay it on there completely perfect, okay, so it's right there, and then I'm going to take something sharp, oh, you could use just about anything, end of scissors, end of something, you know, and then you just go like this, and dig in there a little bit just to make your marking you could even use a pen or a black marker okay hold the black marker there permanent black marker it'll eventually soak through and then you have your marking of your dot where you're going to drill it so that's what i'm going to go do i'm going to go drill this hole and then we'll put it together okay so i'll mute the sound of the drill but got to keep that part with me and i just use my storage room outside it's a mess out there but got my little spot marked I'm using this spot it's actually not the same size but i will make it a little bigger super easy stuff let me make sure i get that centered hold on there we go and just push down a little bit so it don't slide Get it going. Now, can you check it? Of course, it's not going to fit yet. So this is the really easy part too. Just take it, kind of just go like this. Take it again. Right. 
looks big enough to me. And then sometimes it'll screw in. So yep, I can tell you that, that that's gonna work. So it's screwing in, so there we go. Okay, so normally I would wanna use a washer, you know, one of these rubber things, but realized that this stem needed to be a little bit longer and you'll run into that. So I just rig them. <laughs> Take that off, I don't need it. You don't need it, believe me. Okay, so then also you could also put one of these washers, but I won't have enough space. I didn't have enough to thread it. So let's stick that in there. See, and it pressed right in too, because I screwed it in once. Oh, and I'll have to put a hook on it because this took up space too. Ugh. It happens. I could have used, like I have a longer one, but I didn't want to use the hands to this one because they were shorter. I'm just going to put this on and it barely makes it too. If it barely makes it, you're good. Oh, yeah. I might have it upside down. I don't think it makes a difference, but here we go. Then tighten it. So yeah, normally there'd be a washer under here too, but it's not a biggie. I've done them before. Hey, you gotta do. I just want to use this resin piece up because I really had some bubbles, you know, like in here was some pretty big ones. So I'm like, well, what can I do with it? So I thought, okay, I made a clock. There we go. Don't over tighten. Okay. So figure out where you want your... 12 and I did I kind of want it about right here so turn your it don't yeah because you want to put a hook there so you want to turn that to the top you know so that that's about right there right there I'm gonna tighten it a little <laughs> I'll have to skip through a little bit of this video. There. Okay. Put these little dudes on. Oh, and I forgot to paint this one white. Well, I'm not going to want this one on there anyway right away. Because... I need to have that off. So I find where my 12 is. I did it about right there, I think. I wanted it about right there. Whatever that white spot is. Yeah. I was thinking that was good. And what I've done to my letters is I laid them on some parchment paper and I sprayed some Rust-Oline triple thick glaze uh, sideways the other way so it gets the sides too and then on the top one time and I think that's enough they'll be able to be clean so this just helps it from getting to be able to clean it with a rag if you ever need to and then, are we in view? So you want to kind of figure out where you want it to be. And that's going to be my 12. So as long as I get my one. And if you have glue on the bottom, that's 
even better because they slide for you nicely. So I'm going to go about that much against the edge. Just get your 12 on wherever you want it. See the slide real nice. Now there's a little bit of glue slide slid there. See? But you can take, because I already put the glue underneath here. But you can put take a Q-tip real quick and clean that up. It can't be perfect sometimes, you know. I don't mind them because they dry clear anyway. So as long as you have your 12 centered, look straight. Okay, so you keep it in place and go to put it right in the middle of the 12. There's your one spot. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to want them like this. So make sure I get it right. Do I want it like this? No. Do I want it like this? Yes. It just helps you get lined up good and make sure it's the same space as the other one at the top there. It's coming down just a little bit. There. Press it down. Okay. I'm going to my two. So that's how I do it. Pretty easy getting them lined up that way. Just have this right in the middle, like. Really does work. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. Okay. So, mind you, up close, you can see just about every flaw. <laughs> you might see some glue. Yeah. But you can't notice that at all. Hopefully, I have them nice and straight. So, I went ahead and went around, you know, and did exactly what I said to do. That's even them up. So let's put the battery in. It's pretty. Cute. Not a waste of... Just put this to use for somebody. Here we are. And <laughs> that's simple as that. It's pretty. I like it. I love the alcoholic. Most of all. So I plan on making another one of these, but with quite a few different colors. Well, there you go. I know Sure Bear's been wanting to know how to do that, and that's how I do it. <laughs> I do a lot of rigging. Oh, and I'm still painting this hand because I didn't have no white spray paint. And then I'll take some of that triple glaze, you know, spray it in a little metal container because plastic will melt right through. It'll melt. If you try to spray this in a cup, it'll melt right through the plastic. Eat right through it. And then I'll just keep painting over this a few more times. And then I'll take a little bit of this and put it on the top so it coats it, so it protects it. Right. I forgot to mention, I'm throwing this in after a few minutes here. Um, if you want to attach a really good hook. Take one of these thingies, okay? And if you have resin, if you don't, you can use E3-6000 and stuff, but I would trust resin better. 
Put a little tiny bit of resin here, resin there, and there you go. <laughs> okay? Because that will permanently be on there. And you've got yourself a nice wall hook. Hope you got something out of this. <laughs> if you've been wanting to make one, you can make use albums. Um, again, these usually fit in albums real nice. Sometimes you just have to drill the album a little bit bigger. That's it. Just get in there and drill around the sides. Or you can even take a pair of scissors, stuff it in the hole, and scrape the inside. Um, the same thing with wood. All of this is the same. Well, tell me what you think about this one and my numbers. If they look straight or not. I think this one's a little crooked, but it's too late now. I think it's okay. Don't have to be perfect. <laughs> Alrighty then. Everybody take care. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.